I didn't know what to do with it then. I didn't want to have this conversation again. I mean, it's not to the extent of, uh, it's not to the extent that, you know, it was on the video last summer, but damn it, damn it, damn it, I did not want to do this again. So, I'm on Tumblr, and I'm going to put the picture in the link below, um, the link to the picture, and I guess someone put on Facebook, it says, minorities are always the first to complain about racism, segregation, discrimination, and a lack of equality, but yet, they have television stations, educational institutions, and dating sites, amongst other things, custom tailored to their specific demographic. Does that strike a nerve with anyone else besides me? And someone reflogged it and put a comment under it, and it says, the comment under it says, but the whole country is tailored to your demographic, question mark. And what I have to say about that in my comment this is going to be an extension of my comment that I'm going to put on this, but my my thing to that is you talk about how you know oh you guys have your own things you have a day you have a month about your eyes and you have a channel and you have your TV shows and you have you know your your section in the library of African American authors and all that stuff or whatever minority it is like you have everything broken up into sections you guys have your own stuff so what's the issue here's the issue we have to be separated you know we're not the norm everybody together is not the norm we we're separated it's like i because of my major i've seen so many things and read things about white privilege and all that crap and it's like we're everything's still separated Nothing is together, nothing is meshed together, nothing is just all of us together as a whole country is not normal. White is normal. Everything else is minority and separated. And that's just the point. Like, like for this person to say, you know, like, for this person to say that, you know, oh, they complain about this stuff, but you guys have all your own stuff. Well, I'm not. I'm not sitting here complaining about, you know, racism and stuff because I've just accepted the fact that no matter how loud I scream about it, people are going to have ideas in their head. People are going to have their own thought process and people, they're going to be ignorant people in this world. And to address some of the people that were being really angry and about the video I made last summer that are still angry a year later. Um, I understand the fact that there are people of color that are racist towards white people. That are prejudiced towards white people. Because I read something else on Tumblr that made total sense to me. It said that racism, for someone to be racist, they have to have a power. There has to be a power. They have to kind of be at the top. And like, yeah, what, the stuff that people of color get angry about is a prejudice. And the things that they say about white people, it's a prejudice. But I feel like it doesn't really hold as much power, it doesn't hold as much power as the racism of a white person. You know? I don't know if y'all get that. But in my mind it makes sense. In my mind it makes sense. Ah, oh, crap, what was my point? See, it's like, this is my major. African American studies is my major. And it's like, it's so, it's so easy to go off on other tangents, and that's what just happened. Now I forget what my main point was. Everything's separated. Everything's separated. And it's like, oh, what I was going to say originally, um, the fact that, like, for white, is, okay, greatest examples, greatest examples. It's like, if a white person does something that's smart, like, they find a cure for a horrible disease, you know, it's, 
congratulations to him. Good job. He did a good job. You know, congratulations to you. You did something good for the American people and for people of the world. If a black person finds a cure for a disease, it's like, oh, that black guy found the cure for a disease. That black guy did something good. You make all us black people look good because you're a black guy that did some good things. And the same, and it's like, it's not a thing of you, sir, did a good job yourself for the world. Not, it, it's always the label of this black person did something because they, and they did it in the name of black people. And it's like, if a black person does something that's a big deal, positive or negative, that what they did is attached to the whole race. And it's a representation, a re representation of the whole race. White people is not the same thing. With white people, it's like, you as an individual, you. Like, it's not a thing of, oh, white people, it's like, you did a great thing for white people, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. And then, it's the same thing with negative, it's like, it's like, well, black people, we have our own, or people of color, we have our own, like, thing about it, where it's like, if some crazy shit happens, some crazy happens, we're like, oh, that's a white crime, you know, like, that's just shit that white people do, but it's, at the same time, it's like, if a white person robs a store, it's not, a, or if a white person does something negative, um, let me see, like Charlie Sheen, Charlie Sheen fucks up, but we don't say, oh, he set us, he set white people back 300 years, and oh God, look at this white man, and he makes white people look bad, and all that stuff. No, Charlie Sheen fucked up, and that's what he did. That's Charlie Sheen, that's Charlie Sheen's mistake. But if a black person fucks up, like, um, shit, I can't think of somebody off my head. There's so, I mean, there's a lot, but, I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot of white people that fucked up, and a lot of black people that fucked up, and I can't think of one off the top of my head. Um, like, no, not him. Well, if a, if a white person fucked up, if a white, if, I mean, if a black person fucked up the way that Charlie Sheen fucked up, like the way Charlie Sheen fucked up, if a black person fucked up that way, it would be like, oh, he's a representation of black people, and that's a black people thing, and black people do that kind of stuff, and you're setting us back 400 years, and you're just making us bad, look bad in front of white people. No. I mean, it's, it's different. It's like, if a black person does something, it's a representation of the whole race. White person does something, it's a representation, representation of themselves. And, I know my convert, this whole, not conversation, because it's just me talking. My whole rant started off about that whole static, that status that was taken, a picture taken of it on Facebook and everything. I don't know who wrote it. They blocked the name out. It's a good thing they did. They're from Syracuse, though. Near Syracuse. But, um, it's like, it's annoying. It really is. It makes my head hurt. Cause, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm an African American studies and women and gender studies double major. And I'm not a revolutionary. I'm not. I enjoy both studies. Okay, that was loud. I enjoy both studies. I enjoy both fields. I enjoy the things that I learn from both. And it's like, I feel connected to both. You know? Like, there are times where I'm in class and I have an emotional connection to what we're talking about. Not necessarily because I went through it, but because I see, like, I, I knew I needed to be in both these majors because it's like, I, I won't, I won't feel nothing, I won't feel that way about chemistry or engineering, you know? I, I feel something when I'm in those classes. And sometimes it's a lot of work. A lot of times it's a lot of work and everything and a lot of reading and all that stuff, but it's like, I feel something for those, for those topics that we talk about in my majors. And, now, I might be wrong for not being a revolutionary, but that's not my thing because I'm not a fighter. That's not who I am. I, I mean, I feel like what I do, my job 
to get my message out there is not necessarily through, yeah, let's go march and make shirts and have movements and stuff. That's not my, that's not my mission. That's not my calling. I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to study this for some reason. For some reason, God put me in this place where I, I'm supposed to be in African American studies and gender studies. But I'm not meant to be a revolutionary, I don't think. Um, but some, for some reason, I, I have to do it. I have to, I have to learn these things so I can change something. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. I'll figure it out. But maybe it's some poetry or art. Because that's what I love to do. I love that more than anything in the world. Art and poetry, like fine arts and poetry and stuff. So, maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I'm starting to ramble about nothing. And, um, I, I don't know what you guys think. What do you guys think about, you know, any, any of the topics? and racism and race general as in general because in if you look at the history of just language and language and um just history in itself, race is a new concept. I mean that's only been around for a few hundred years. It's a new it's a newer concept and it's kind of an American thing, not really a world thing, like, cause, I don't know, it's, 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 excuse my right thing, um, also, if you haven't, check, check out, um, Ellen Hopkins, check out her books, they have nothing to do with what I'm talking about, it's just that she's an amazing writer, and, like, if you look, the way she writes, it's an easy read, it looks thick, but it's an easy read, because she writes in poetry, it's like she writes her novels, she writes her novels in, in poems, but they're still like, it's still like reading a regular, it's like reading a regular story, but they're in poem form. It's really awesome. It's, it's very unique, and I love it, and it's easy to read, and it's great stories, and all that stuff, and it's <laughs> really awesome. So, yeah, so like my Facebook page, if you enjoyed this video, this random, odd, video about racism then um like it subscribe to my channel um if you don't mind go vote for me on Tyler Perry by Kim and Tom I need to go bye